What's going on guys? This is Sam and today we're talking about iOS 11.2.6. Apple just released this update a few hours ago at the time of this video going live on YouTube and inside of it are some important changes that you should definitely be aware of. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first up in the change log is a fix for the crashing bug that I talked about a few days ago in case you missed that video. I talk about the issue in more detail. I'll leave that linked up in the top right hand corner of the screen but this was a big deal. It was the biggest text message crashing bug since effective power in 2015. If someone sent you this character right here, your entire device could crash and you would be unable to open the messages app sometimes. You would have to delete the thread containing the infected character and it was an issue with the way that Unicode was processed. So it was a pretty big deal but Apple took swift action and corrected it just a few days after it really started blowing up in iOS 11.2.6. If you got sent the message it could totally mess up your day, mess up your experience and make it really hard to use your phone if you just were repeatedly sent that same character. So really glad to see that change. The second change in iOS 11.2.6 fixes an issue where some third-party apps can fail to connect to external accessories. So if you were having an issue where some of your third-party apps or non-Apple apps weren't connecting to accessories properly, that issue will hopefully be corrected for good in iOS 11.2.6. Now, if you're running the iOS 11.3 beta, you are already protected from the first issue with that character that could potentially crash your device. That has been fixed in iOS 11.3 since at least iOS 11.3 beta 2. Apple was aware of the issue before, and this update was sort of rushed out to protect everyone else who isn't on the beta, which is definitely the majority of iOS devices. I'm excited to see that Apple took swift action in fixing the issue. They didn't wait around because I was seeing the character more and more. My iPhone 8 was crashing probably four or five times a day since the big stories broke about the character being out there. People were leaving it in the comment section of my last video, which drove me crazy because I had to monitor that for like 12 hours to make sure that the characters wouldn't be posted anymore. And uh, it's been kind of crazy. But the character crashing bug is no longer present in iOS 11. 11.2.6 as it has been corrected. As always, I want to hear your thoughts on this down below. Are you surprised that there was another character crashing bug in iOS? We just saw one about a month ago, a month or two ago. We saw one back in 2015 called Effective Power. It's kind of crazy how these strings of text can crash your entire device and mess up your experience. I'm just wondering now how long it's going to be until the next character is discovered. It seems like these have been popping up like crazy lately and they predominantly affect iOS devices, which is very interesting. Has to be I guess the way that iOS processes characters and the way Unicode works on iOS devices. I have a lot of questions for Apple's engineering team. I would love to sit down with uh, with one of them and talk about it one day. But that's going to wrap up this video. As always, I want to hear your thoughts. How is iOS 11 for you? Are you tired of these bugs or do you enjoy the constant updates? If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to I have iOS.com slash merch. Use code iOS for 10% off of your entire order. That'd be super cool. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.